G'day everybody. Today, and tomorrow and probably the next day, we're going to be looking at making concrete at home. Uh, I'm a bit of a fan of concrete, been asked a lot about how I do it. So using the magic of YouTube and uh, several hours of footage, we'll put something together and show you how it's done. Okay, the first thing you need is, where do you want to put the concrete? In my case, we're going to be building a little piece of concrete here at the base of the tank. As you can see, I've had a couple of pavers there and the weeds grow and the water grows and yeah, it's not cool. So we're going to make that look a bit like that. Not quite like that. Definitely not like that. And no, nah, that's, that's way too big. So uh, yeah, we're going to fill that in. Um, everybody's seen someone dig a hole, so I'm not going to show you how to dig a hole, but I will show you how I put it together afterwards. The next thing you need is everything to make concrete. And that's all in this photo here, or video. And we'll go through it step by step and explain what each thing does. This is Cecil, Cecil B. De Mixer. He's a light burn cement mixer made in Australia. Um, it's about 100 years old, weighs about 47 elephants, uh, but does the job. Uh, I've had it for three years, it cost me 300 bucks. Uh, it's old, noisy, and when I'm making concrete, I won't be talking because you won't hear me. A wheelbarrow comes in handy, especially if you're going to move it from there over there. But a point of advice, make sure that the wheelbarrow is big enough to empty that because otherwise it gets very messy. Some other tools you might need if you don't have them, uh, eBay, buy, swap and sell, garage sales, you need a big shovel. I like to use a rake. I've got a broom for finishing, a straight edge for finishing, a little edger for making it look pretty, like down there. Um, bucket is always handy and then we'll get on to raw materials I buy all my raw materials from our local landscape supplier this is his sand and gravel mix and as you can see it's got sand and it's got gravel what you're looking for if you're going to buy sand and gravel mix is you want the rocks to be nice and sharp and not round and you want to put it in your hand and feel the rocks but not have them go into your hand so I like to have enough sand so that I can squish it like this and not feel the rocks digging into my hand sometimes it'll be a bit variable you've got to work with it you'll work it out um, I've done about 25 cubes in the yard all this stuff here recently this path is about three years ago and over the years the blend has changed and you have to be careful and just keep an eye on it but with, uh, with practice comes experience. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about making conch. Uh, so do your research and work out what you want in your materials. To load the sand and gravel, I like to use buckets because I make cement to a recipe and that makes me unusual. And they're nice enough to put the recipe on the back of the cement bag. So I use GP cement. Uh, it's about 10 bucks a bag. You can buy ready mix, pre mix, rapid set, various other things, but again, I'm not after anything in particular. This is the cheapest way to make it that I know of. Now, the recipe I use consistently is higher strength. So, one cement, two sand, three gravel, and some water. And you can make it a bit skinnier, a bit less cement, a bit more materials, but I've just stuck to the higher strength because I want to drive over this path. I might drive over that piece of edging. And I'm a big fat bloke, so when I stand at the clothesline, I don't want to fall through the concrete. So have a look on the back of the bag. If you're not sure, again, research. I know a, uh, a librarian and a watchmaker, and everything they do, they do by research and then execution. I also have, for the cement, container 
because I've got one cement, two sand in the blue ones, and three gravels in the grey ones. Now, if you're picking up what I'm laying down, I'm laying down cement, and I'll make it to a recipe. I also have a big water bucket, and I have a little water bucket, and you'll see why when we make the conch. So that's everything you need to make concrete in your house. Uh, we'll get together in the next video. I'll walk you through Cecil and how he works and we'll uh, start making the gray sticky stuff. I'll show you where the hole is and how I put it together. And then you two will be on the way. Um, just a couple of examples. I did this spot to park my car with Cecil uh, in four or five sessions. There's about two and a half cubes in that. Uh, this isn't an easy job. But if you do your research, you can make driveways, garden edges, more driveways, paths, gardens, bird stands. Come over this way. So there's garden edging under all of that green shit. So this path was made all by hand. All the edges over there and so on. So. Please uh, like, subscribe, tune in, come back, say hello. Always happy to help out. If you've got any questions, again, happy to help. But remember, research and a recipe. That's all there is to it.